This land is a rich gift entrusted to us by our forefathers. Countless generations have worked hard to thrive in this harsh environment. Our story is one of ingenuity. We have faith in our future and we are constantly innovating to meet that future and its challenges. We believe having a vision is what drives all human endeavors. In today's fast-paced, ever-changing world, what remains unaltered is our relentless pursuit of a cleaner, healthier, and smarter environment for our children and for the generations to come. The Dubai Integrated Energy Strategy, DIAS 2030, was deployed to set the strategic direction towards secure and sustainable energy supply and demand. The strategy is built on four key pillars that reflect the principle of integration of addressing supply, managing demand with the DSM Strategy 2030, and creating a sustainable and green economy. تم تطوير استراتيجية الطلب على الطاقة تحت رعاية المجلس الأعلى للطاقة في إمارة دبي بهدف طموح هو الوصول إلى 30% حداً من استهلاك الطاقة بحلول عام 2030 ولذلك أنشأنا فريق عمل ذو خبرة عالية واختصاص للعمل على تنفيذ هذه الاستراتيجية المهمة لإمارة دبي Energy consumption worldwide has increased by over 30% since 2000, putting pressure on our resources. Countries around the globe are focusing on deploying energy efficiency measures. Under the visionary guidance of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Dubai is at the forefront of these efforts with an ambitious target of 30% reduction in energy consumption by 2030. This translates into a reduction of 19 terawatts per hour of electricity and 46 billion imperial gallons of water. The DSM strategy is composed of eight distinct programs that contribute to the target savings. تفخر بلدية دبي بأن تكون عضوا رئيسيا في استراتيجية إدارة الطلب على الطاقة من خلال تطوير وتطبيق لوائح ومواصفات المباني الخضراء لجعل مباني دبي الجديدة أكثر كفاءة ومن المتوقع أن يكون برنامجنا أكبر مساهم وفورات المياه والكهرباء بحلول عام 2030 at the current economic pace, Dubai is expected to continue its aggressive growth path, making buildings one of the key contributors to energy consumption. Dubai Municipality launched the Dubai Green Building Regulations in 2014. Building regulations are expected to account for 28% of total electricity savings and 32% of total water savings. In 2018, Dubai Municipality launched Al-Safat as a code and labeling scheme for new buildings with the current minimum requirements of Al-Safat Silver. Etihad was established in 2013 with a vision and mission to make Dubai one of the most sustainable cities in the world and to make Dubai a leading example in energy efficiency. When the establishment was done, the objective of Etihad was to retrofit um, 30,000 buildings by the year 2030. Um, from then till now, Etihad has been achieving the targets. Tackling the existing building stock, Etihad ESCO is leading the energy efficiency market by retrofitting buildings. This drive is supported by DSCE and regulated by RSB. The retrofitting of 30,000 buildings is expected to account for 9% of total electricity savings and 12% of total water savings. In Dubai's hot environment, the cooling load constitutes 70% of our peak demand and drives significant load swings between winter and summer. 
district cooling is targeted to increase from 17% to 40% of Dubai's refrigeration capacity by 2030. Through regulatory measures by RSB, retrofitting work led by Etihad ESCO and active participation of district cooling operators. لدى هيئة الإمارات للمواصفات والمقاييس برامج وخطط وطنية لزيادة الاعتماد على أجهزة ومعدات ذات كفاءة عالية في استهلاك الطاقة حيث أصدرت مواصفات خلال العام الجاري نحو 865 ألف بطاقة كفاءة طاقة للأجهزة الكهربائية والمياه والتي تخضع لتصنيف النجوم وإذا ما نظرنا إلى تلك البيانات سنكتشف أن اعتماد المستهلكين أنفسهم على الأجهزة الكهربائية والمياه شهد تحولا كبيرا نحو ثقافة الترشيد بدليل الزيادة في الطلب على الأجهزة ذات الكفاءة العالية والمرشدة في استهلاك الطاقة. The DSM strategy is also tackling domestic energy consumption through the introduction of energy efficiency standards and labels for multiple product lines, led by the Emirates Authority for Standardization and Metrology, ESMA. The program is projected to contribute 21% of total electricity savings and 18% of total water savings by 2030. As Dubai Municipality is making Dubai greener, the DSM strategy is promoting efficient landscaping practices, irrigation techniques and maximizing the use of recycled water, hence contributing to 19% of total water savings. تشكل كفاءة استهلاك الطاقة محورا رئيسيا في استراتيجية هيئة الطرق والمواصلات طبعا هذا دعانا إلى أن نركز على تطبيق مبادرات وتدابير وإجراءات لتحسين كفاءة استهلاك الطاقة في جميع مشاريعنا وخاصة المشاريع المستقبلية وسنستمر في بدل الجهود لتعزيز وإعادة تأهيل البنية التحتية الخاصة بأنظمة الطرق والمواصلات لتحسين كفاءة استهلاك الطاقة بشكل أفضل في المستقبل RTA is leading the efforts to increase the efficiency of our existing lighting by over 50% by 2030 on all local, collector and arterial streets and highways. Dubai municipality and main developers are leading similar activities in their respective zones. This program will increase the level of comfort of Dubai's citizens while contributing to energy-saving targets. With DWIS leadership, tariff adjustments are contributing to consumer behaviour change and are expected to account for 26% of total electricity savings and 19% of total water savings by 2030. Shams Dubai implements the vision of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum to have a solar panel on every roof in Dubai and to connect the solar energy to Dubai's power grid. Shams Dubai is led by Etihad Energy Services and enabled by a strong regulatory framework from Diwa. In order to implement our ambitious program, we are supported by six key enablers. Advisory and implementation support, awareness improvement, capacity building, continuous improvement and special projects, financing mechanisms, monitoring and evaluation of energy savings. But how can we ensure success? We have assembled a specialized team who will be dedicated to providing internal consultation to all DSM program owners and will put the DSM strategy into action, helping program owners to achieve their individual targets. Etihad ESCO is one of the great initiatives that came as a direction from uh, His Highness Sheikh Ahmed bin Saeed Al Maktoum, the chairman of the Supreme Council of Energy in Dubai. And it is the main purpose and the objective of the company is to lead driving the business of energy efficiency. So we established Takati to achieve the 30% in the demand side management by 2030. And today we're sitting here and talking about the achievement that we made in the previous, year, uh, previous years. It's honestly a big achievement. Well, I would like to thank all the stakeholders that work with us either in the government sector or in the private sector. So Dubai today is a role model in terms of energy efficiency and uh, CO2 reduction. So I'm very much confident this success story it's, uh, doesn't have an end. The successful implementation of the demand side management strategy requires a unique set of skills. Under the guidance of the Vice Supreme Council of Energy, we've been able to bring in the right talent, the right people, people that understand the technicalities, that have analytical skills, both engineers, management consultants. So being part of this uh, big group with the spirit of one team 
uh, we've been able to um, uh, accomplish the DSM savings targets for the past few years, and we're hoping that we're going to continue in the same path with, I am sure, more challenges to come. Efficient future.